again, it's Teresa. I'm here today to talk to you about specifically the Lasix Drop Spindle. It's one that I sell a lot of in my spinning kits and things, and I sell a lot of it because I love it so much. This is a bottom whorl spindle, but when you get it, it's going to come in two pieces like this. You have the whorl, which is specially designed to distribute the weight along the edge of the whorl. This creates an exceptionally long spin. Then you have the shaft, which is grooved at the top. This groove replaces the hook that you see on most drop spindles. The um, pointy end with the groove at the top is going to go through the bottom, the smooth side of the whorl. It's going to get tight, and that's okay. You just keep pushing. There we go. Until it goes down to where you have a little bit of the shaft sticking out the bottom of the whorl, and your drop spindle is all put together. Now to get started, this is a little tip, is to use a leader yarn. A leader yarn is just tied in a circle, so you have a big loop. You can put it on one of two ways. You can either put it around the shaft and pull it through so that it just connects on there like that. The problem is, is then it, it likes to slide up and down, and so you either need to tape it or use my favorite uh, spinning tool, which are Velcro dots. And just put a little Velcro dot at the bottom there, and that would take care of the problem. But uh, the other way to attach it is what I'm going to do today, which is to put that little bit of shaft through the middle of the loop and come up and around. Either way you do it, you're going to affix it to the top with a half hitch. So now your yarn is attached to your spindle and you're ready to start spinning. So we get some wool. We have our wool here. We have the ends that we're going to put through this opening that we have in our leader yarn. Fold those up over the top. And that's going to help hold those while we get it started. Give it a good spin. And again, you don't have to spin it hard. It spins for just a long time. I just love that about this spindle. And we're going to give it another spin. And we draft and let the twist walk up. Now remember, we've talked about this before. When you're drafting, you need to keep the twist in front of the drafting triangle. The drafting triangle is the triangle that's formed right where the pinch is and the fibers go up. You see the triangle, the drafting triangle. If the twist gets behind the drafting triangle, then you can't get your fibers drafted because they're already partially spun, they're partially twisted, and that causes a lot of frustration couple of ways to handle that. Either keep it pinched and make sure that you're drafting behind your pinch. And if your twist gets behind there, you have to stop and untwist it. Or the other thing is, is that the twist will not go over the top of your finger. So if you keep the fibers hanging over the top of your finger like this, the twist cannot go over the top of your finger. And so you're able to draft behind this is bringing the draft done behind the fingers there. I think when you do it, it'll make sense. Oh my goodness, there's the phone. I better go.